May I come in, sir? Yes, please. Thank you, sir. Aye, aye. Good afternoon, sir. Good, Good afternoon. afternoon. Mr. Siddhant Kumar. Sir, Kosinder. Huh? Kosinder. Oh, okay. sorry, Kosinder. sorry, sir. Kosinder. Please take your seat. Thank you, sir. Kosinder, you are from Rajasthan? Yes, sir. Kosinder, we have heard the first time. In Hindi, we interview in English. Sir, in English. English? Yes, sir. So, for the first time, we have heard this name, Kosinder. Yes, sir. What does that mean? Sir, Kosinder is made up of Kos and Inder, which refers to the god of treasure, equivalent to Kuber, Lord Kuber. Oh, Kos Inder. Kos yes. ka Inder. Yes. Yes. <coughs> तो फिर तो भाई ये कौशेंद्र होना चाहिए था कौशेंद्र होना चाहिए था कौशेंद्र यस इंदर नहीं इंदर इंदर यस हम्म ओके सो आप वहाँ तो यू आर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियर यस सर हाँ यस सर 2018 यस सर this is your which chance? Sir, sixth attempt. Sixth? Yes, sir. Okay. Earlier also you uh, faced the interview or not? Yes, sir. I appeared three times before. Three that. times? Yes, sir. Before the interview board? Yes, sir. Okay. And what happened uh, early in earlier chances? Sir, my score was average in interview. In mains also it was average. So, okay. missed the final list. What was the highest marks? Uh, what were the highest marks in interview that you got? 165. 165? Yes, sir. Okay. Out of 2, 300. Out of 275. 275. How much percent is it? 55% of the cost of the cost? Sir, in civil service, it is of 250. In Indian forest service, it is 275 marks. Yeah, 250, right? 250. In which? In civil service examination. 275. 275, right? It is 275, not 250. Okay, sir, I will check. Forest service also you gave? Yes, sir. Last year I gave. What subject did you take there? Sir, geology and forestry. Okay. So, you have written qualify? Yes, sir. Interview I gave. Interview. So, what are you doing these days? <clears throat> sir, I am preparing and along with that, uh, few, whenever I get time, I do teach also. You teach also? Yes, sir. What are you teaching? Sir, at individual level, I take classes. And the geography, especially the geography mm -hmm. subject I teach to the uh, students of class 11. Geography? Yes, sir. Uh, <coughs> geography has never been your subject? Sir, since I am preparing nor for... In, uh, nor even in uh, civil services? Sir, since I am preparing for the civil services, there we are having uh, as a general studies paper. Okay. So from there. So, <clears throat> each time you are um, uh, opting for anthropology. Yes, sir. All the six chances. Yes, sir. No, three chances. Yes, sir. Three times you got interview call. Yes, sir. Huh? Every time you got interview call. Sir, this is fourth time. Fourth time. So, um, anthropology must be very, uh, you must be very good at anthropology now. Sir, I am trying. <laughs> Huh? I am trying to be good. Achha. Have you uh, have you studied about symbols and rituals in uh, anthropology? Yes, sir. What 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 does that mean? <clears throat> Would you explain? Yes, sir. Sir, symbols and ritual convey some specific meaning, and they are dependent on the culture of a particular society. So, sir, a very famous anthropologist, Victor Turner, he studied in Bamboo society the Kanga ritual, where the puberty of a girl was represented by holding a, a diya in hand and they used to glow that diya. So, they convey a specific meaning in particular society. They are <coughs> cultural dependent. What is the difference between symbols and rituals? Sir, rituals are somewhere connected mm. with the uh, sect or a religion and they also convey some meaning but symbols are in general, but rituals are more specific and they are predetermined. Would you give the examples of uh, some symbols and some rituals? Sir, Kanga ritual in Dembu society and in our uh, society also, 
many people wear some symbols like om or christian they they wear some cross symbol so they convey some meaning <clears throat> and symbols so these were symbols and rituals when birth of a uh, child took place then they perform some activity even at the time of death some rituals are being performed you must have studied many types of marriages also yes sir huh yes sir what is sororal polygyny sir sororal polygyny is a kind of marriage where if a wife die then then her sister the uh, sister of the wife she will become the wife uh, in the next marriage will that uh, fall in polygyny if sister dies sir it is known it is known as uh, serial yes uh, polygamy so real a serial uh, polygamy yes sir i am asking sororal polygyny yes sir, sir. that means uh, all the sisters will be wife of a particular spouse not all matlab more than one sisters are yes. wives of a single person thank you sir okay rajasthan yes sir if you were the chief minister of rajasthan yes sir. for uh, developing the state yes sir economically yes what steps which are new you will take sir being a cm of the state i will first step new that, steps yes sir sir i will focus more on the physical infrastructure creation in the state where connectivity is needed to be enhanced in terms of the railways as well as roadways so along with that there is a requirement railways of railways is not your jurisdiction it is government of india's jurisdiction sir but i can request okay central government okay so second uh, i will focus more on the availability of water because various industry need water as a basic raw material so i will focus more on circular economy where reduce recycle of water can take place and even i will try to implement minor uh, irrigation projects so that water can be uh, saved and so third thing i will focus more on the human development skilling education so on that aspect i will also focus along with that sir there are huge potential in rajasthan in terms of tourism Uh, renewable energy like solar and even biofuels where jatropha plant can be grown in the arid region of rajasthan so sir these will be my focus areas is there anywhere in rajasthan jatropha plantation there sir in udaipur region <coughs> jatropha is, it is there yes sir is it a profitable uh, venture for the farmers sir in the <coughs> now it is not grown at large scale Hmm. so economy of scale is still a issue they say uh, jatropha plantation for uh, fuel has a failed project so sir is a failed project fail ho gaya yes sir jatropha plantation shuru mein bahut uh, tezi se shuru hua tha yes lekin abhi uh, kahin usko <coughs> bahut zyada bhav nahi mil raha hai sir but it has huge potential if entire supply chain if that can be grown there in rajasthan then it will be a profitable business you see in the economy it is a simple formula if it is profitable people will go for that business yes or for that matter even the agriculture is or farmers will go for that crop yes sir. and if it is not profitable for them they will not go yes sir but sir so yes. people say that jatropha is not uh, profitable business what do you say about that sir in short run it may not be that much profitable but once the entire ecosystem is gets developed then in long term it will definitely be a profitable business for the farmers as well as for the jatropha investors. is for biodiesel na sir it is being used as a biofuel in bioethanol ethanol uh, production what is the where does it uh, ext- uh, where is it extracted from sir the seeds of the jatropha seeds. plant what is the percentage of uh, biofuel in seeds in jatropha sir i need to read more about it okay thank you sir yeah mr koshinder yes sir our honorable prime minister says yes sir. that the present decade will be india's decade what does that mean decades 
टी ई सी एच ए डी ई सर टेक्नोलॉजी विल गाइड आवर फ्यूचर सर एंड सिंस वी हैव ह्यूज डेमोग्राफिक डिविडेंड विच कैन यूटिलाइज द टेक्नोलॉजी एंड कैन प्रोड्यूस बेटर रिटर्न सो आवर इकोनॉमी विल ऑल्सो बी गाइडेड बाई द टेक्नोलॉजी ओके गुड सबका साथ सबका विकास सबका प्रयास सबका विश्वास हाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ दीज आर रिफ्लेक्टेड इन द वेरियस स्कीम्स लॉन्च बाय द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट वी विल कम टू सबका विश्वास लेटर है तो सबका साथ सबका विकास यस सबका प्रयास सो हाउ आर दीज थ्री things are being reflected in the various schemes launched by the central government sir sir taking the example of mg narega scheme mm mm-hmm. there sabka saath is being taken to produce community resources mm mm-hmm. that includes okay, sabka prayas yeah. also mm mm-hmm. ha sabka prayas mm mm-hmm. and sir since people are enrolling in that scheme that shows the sabka vishwas also <coughs> sabka vishwas also since people are preferring that scheme Okay. and especially in covid many near, near about 11 crore people subscribed that scheme and uh, how it is reflected that uh, they believe in the government sabka vishwas sir is reflected from how, the how is that reflect sir, how can you say that sabka vishwas is there one thing they are participating yes, this sir. is what you have mentioned what could be the other sir thing? second thing it is providing livelihood also to the people mm-hmm. and it is very beneficial in eradicating poverty especially how it is reflected that they believe in the government that this will do something sir and since uh, doing something sir since people are participating along with that they are even producing resources also for example in rajasthan various water ponds have been developed by mg narega that are beneficial even for the Uh, re- for is the- it reflected in the election results also that sir sabka vishwas sir voter turnout is near about 67% mm-hmm. that's why people have strong faith in democracy <coughs> okay uh when do we observe world women's day sir 8th march 8th march yes sir. so our honorable prime minister was in junjunu few years back yes sir on world women's day yes sir. so first of all you will tell me why junjunu might have been selected for that particular day and which scheme was launched on that very day sir from 2011 census junjunu mm-hmm. had child sex ratio of 837 mm-hmm. which was very less so mm-hmm. sir for the implementation of beti bachao beti padhao scheme mm-hmm. the honorable prime minister visited junjunu and from there they launched the second phase of beti bachao beti padhao right so scope of beti bachao beti padhao was enlarged yes sir on that very day yes sir. and uh, selection you have already mentioned some of the indicators were there related with sex ratio related yes. with infant mortality which yes, were better sir. in junjunu as compared to other districts of your state now uh, any other scheme which might have been launched scope of beti bachao beti padhao was enlarged right you are and yes. another scheme new scheme was launched on that very day world women's day sorry sir i'm 8th of march national nutrition mission yes so what is that national nutrition mission this was launched on that very day yes sir yeah tell me what is sir, that uh, pm poshan scheme was yeah, launched yeah poshan abhiyan that's so, right uh-huh. uh huh to improve the overall nutrition of the people especially the childs mm-hmm. this scheme was launched Ch- uh, children eh? yes sir ha huh. and focus was given to provide a mid day meal scheme as well as pds through pds scheme also but what is this hidden hunger yes sir sir hidden hunger means there is lack of nutritious requirements in the body mm-hmm. might be vitamins or protein so, so micronutrients not related with uh, does it not relate with the, that uh, hunger um, it is anger yes sir it, it is very national nutrition related. mission yes sir it relates with that ha eh? yes okay so related with the this uh, electronics and communication 4g yes. and 5g yes sir. what is the difference between these two sir 5g is advanced technology mm-hmm. in telecommunication which have advantage of ultra high speed 
as well as ultra low latency. And now you tell me that what is the latency and what is the speed between these two 4G and 5G? <coughs> Sir, in 4G it is expected as 20 Mbps but mm -hmm. as compared to 5G it is accept, uh, expected 100 Mbps speed. Okay, now number two. Uh -huh. Sir, in ultra low latency, uh -huh. the, uh, in 5G, it is one microsecond, okay. one millisecond, sorry, sir. Mm -hmm. Whereas in 4G, it was 10 millisecond. Okay, digital economy. Yes. Sir. What do you mean by digital economy? Sir, a digital economy refers to a, a state where most of the economic opportunity are being performed with the help of information and communication technology. Okay, what do you know about Mr. Rajendra Singh in your state, his contribution? Sir, Dr. Rajendra Singh is known as the uh, waterman of India. Waterman of India. So, okay. with the help of uh, his NGO, Tarun Bharat Singh, Tarun Bharat he Tarun was right. able to revive near about 12 rivers in the uh, Alwar district of Rajasthan. And sir, has he got any recognition, any award or? Yes, sir, the yeah. UN. Uh, Stockholm award was given. Stockholm water prize we call Yes. Sir. Uh, Stockholm water prize. What else? One more very important sir. one. Ram. Yeah, yeah, right. Huh. Yes. yes. Huh. Ra Ram Ramney. Raman. Raman Mega Sese Award. Mega Sese Award. Yes. Okay. Last question. Yes. Sir. Uh, Rajasthan has done much better as compared to other states as far as Paralympic Games are concerned. Yes. So, how many medals Rajasthan has won and can you name some of the winners in Paralympic Games at last? Sir, I am not able to recall the exact numbers, but various Paralympic athletes like Devendra Jhajadia was one of the javelin throw athlete. He got bronze. Not sir. In sir, Paralympic. Huh? So, so, sir, I am not Okay, aware thank about. you. Thank you, sir. <coughs> Kujindra, <coughs> excuse me, you yes, have uh, been mentoring students. Yes, sir. And you are also from a rural background. Yes. <coughs> so, what is the main uh, reason for high school dropouts? Uh, you can speak from your own experience. Sir, there are multiple reasons for the dropouts, especially in the higher education. Yeah. First, sir. First major issue of poverty, where parents think that if a person is engaged in some activity, then he will better earn for the family. So other than this, there is also a shortage of availability of university in very nearby region. So especially for the girls, they have to travel a lot. And since various uh, uh, university, they might not be having bus facilities also. So because of lack of opportunities, uh, dropouts are there and so even there are issues of child marriage especially for the girls where they are being forced to enter into the marriage or in household chores work <coughs> and so along with that higher unemployment is also one of the reason because there might be some demotivation because even after studying if one is not able to get good job then that also acts as a deterrence for the uh, seeking higher education so sir, these are few Regions I can think of. Uh, but what about school dropouts? Sir, for the school dropouts also, there are similar issues like lack of facilities in schools, especially the toilets for the girls. And uh, sir, issue of child marriage is also persistent. And sir, along with that poverty uh, is also... So when you mentor students, uh, <clears throat> you may be mentoring students of say class 11, in geography you mentioned, but are there other areas, other subjects also in which they are weak? Sir, I mentor class 10th students mm. and sir, when they have to opt for a specific, a specific domain in class 11th, specific subject. <coughs> so there they face issue of lack of awareness about different opportunity available in different streams. So sir, various students come and meet and they try to ask what are better options they have in particular domain. So, sir, in that field, I help them and I mentor in terms of various opportunity available in different streams like uh, arts, uh, medical, engineering and 
in such uh, in such domains is english and maths a big problem for school students especially the you know under 10 sir math i think the rural people they are more uh, good in mathematics but yes english is one of the reason they so are is this one of the reasons for dropouts sir yes it may be one of the reason but maths is not a reason sir mathematics they might be lacking in guidance in mathematics but they are somewhat more so uh, talking about guidance is there a problem with guidance yes sir there are guidance so which means the teachers they only teach they can't guide sir teacher can guide in class but a student has to go to his class hmm. for example a class 10th student is there if he is not aware about what opportunity he is going to get in math but he know what opportunity he will get in uh, arts hmm. so he will prefer arts hmm. he will not prefer maths as a option okay uh, you have heard of aadhar scheme yes, aadhar yes sir is it a good uh, thing aadhar sir it is a good initiative it helps in curbing uh, various errors and uh, under representation or mm. over inclusion of the beneficiaries mm. and sir along with this there are some issues also regarding privacy issue mm. it can be misused or some data leakage so have you come across any such issues in your career sir not in my career but in newspapers i heard that on dark net data of aadhar has been sold of many beneficiaries hmm. so that is one of the issue what were the restrictions put by the supreme court of india on the use of aadhar sir for the socio economic development schemes aadhar uh, will be used but for other uh, schemes it will be a voluntary measure have you ever had an interaction with the police in rajasthan sir in general i had but not very specific for in general what way sir since uh, patrolling is, of police <coughs> is there in village hmm. then i have met okay if someone comes to the you know someone is brought a thief is brought to the police and he says his name is xyz yes sir okay can the police use aadhar to verify whether he is really xyz or is someone else can he can his identity be checked <coughs> through the aadhar scheme by the police sorry sir i'm not aware about it i'm not aware of it they can't use it uh, what is the Thanks. reason for the you know why is electronics industry lagging in india is there any reason can you because you have been an electronics uh, engineer sir electronics engineer uh, electronics industries they are rising in india although they are still lacking hmm. but sir there are several issues the electronics industry faces first sir regarding the funds it needs huge funding initial funding the cost of funding is very high investment in, you mean yes sir investment <coughs> then and second thing sir the environment especially for the semiconductor industries they need ultra pure water and ultra pure air also we don't have that sir we have but to create that environment at large scale hmm. that is a challenging task where was semiconductor uh industry was set up india in india sir at present sci limited where was it so sir asia A sci limited. limited so sir i am not aware about you are not aware you know india started the semiconductor uh, journey in the year the same year when taiwan also started yes sir but where is taiwan and where are we yes sir 1989 Yes sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you sir. Question the Yes sir. Rajasthan is having <coughs> typical type of the basically geography and weather condition, yes. climatic condition. So extreme heat during the day time yes. and extreme cold during the night time yes sir so what are the geographical factors why this is so sir <coughs> since rajasthan have desert ecosystem so clouds are not that much in the region so during day time the sunlight directly hits the ground so that cause huge temperature in the day, uh, day time but sir at the night time since there is no clouds 
the clouds the uh, that they are not that much so the 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 uh, the waves which are being released by the earth surface that don't get trapped by the clouds so they directly reaches to the upper troposphere so that's why in the uh, night time it is the temperature is very low so, so that this is one of the reason something related with the longitude latitude so tropic of cancer passes through rajasthan so from which region so sir from southern <coughs> rajasthan it reaches so southern rajasthan hmm so canal system in sri ganganagar yes what are the drawbacks of the so, canal system in ganganagar so indira gandhi canal is there and because of that there are several issues one is uh, the salination issue they are facing and so other than that excess use of fertilizers is taking place and so because of that a specific dedicated train is there which is known as uh, cancer train which runs from the batinda in punjab to bikane region where most of the patients of that train are because of the fertilizer excess use of fertilizers they are facing issue of the cancer so for treatment they are coming to the bikaner medical college and from there uh, they are taking the uh, medical assistance so are they from sri ganganagar or are they from batinda sir the entire region is suffering from the cancer problem and many of our including from... sri ganganagar yes sir hmm. <coughs> so what is the solution sir regarding solution a repair of the canal should take place so that excess seepage of the water should not take place and that causes salinity along with that sir various technologies uh, uh, like micro irrigation drip uh, irrigation sprinklers that should be used to protect uh, fertilizers excess fertilizers along with uh, salinity so sir these are few what is organic farming sir organic farming is a type of Uh, agriculture practice where we do not use ex uh, where we do not use synthetic fertilizers so is it useful or sir harmful in, sir in short run there might be issue with the overall production but sir in long term the uh, health of soil will improve and even the fertility will rise and even the, there are more chances that the, even the overall production will increase in long term but sir from seeing from other aspects like health and uh, even uh, biodiversity from that aspect organic fertilizer uh, organic uh, irrigation is very much important okay thank you thank you sir uh question there yes sir i uh, you are doing fairly well thank you sir but i think you need uh, a bit of brushing up yes sir. when is your interview sir date is not out yet okay so you have got enough time yes sir uh, to prepare further yes sir oh acha hai matlab you know the stuff thoda sa thode se humko lagta hai ki you know you must go slightly deep into a uh, thing not very much but yes, thoda sa jaise next round of questions ke liye यू नो यहाँ पे तो यू नो वी आर सपोज यू नो यू आर आस्ट काउंटर क्वेश्चन तो यू शुड बी अवेयर एंड नंबर टू यू हैव यू हैव अ लॉट ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस फ्रॉम द बैकग्राउंड फ्रॉम राजस्थान एक्सेट्रा तो थोड़ा सा किताब से निकल के हल्का सा बिकॉज दे वुड लाइक टू नो योर व्यूज ऑन दोज थिंग्स ऑल्सो और ये पर्सनैलिटी टेस्ट है इन्फॉर्मेशन में अगर आप थोड़ा कमी भी रह गई लेकिन अगर आप you know if you are able to cogently argue on a point yes. apna ye karke kisi tarah se jaise ki maan lijiye ki you no know, cancer causing fertilizer ye wo karke uska solutions wagera whatever yes so you should be able to ye not just kitabi knowledge se thoda sa nikal ke bahar yes ek to aapka time kafi hai to acche se mehnat karni hai aur yes. hai na aaj ke date mein bhi aapki performance bahut achhi hai aur isko outstanding tak le jana hai ओके सर अपनी डेव से रिलेटेड आइडेंटिफाई करिए प्रोबेबल क्वेश्चंस और उनको अच्छे से प्रिपेयर करिए थोड़े दिनों में बजट का इंटरनेट बजट ही होगा भले ही शुरू हो जाएगा 
उससे रिलेटेड भी आप पढ़ें और एक अगर इकोनॉमिक्स का कोई पेपर नहीं पढ़ रहे हैं तो शुरू कर दें कौन सा पढ़ते हैं न्यूज़ पेपर सदा हिंदू पढ़ रहा हूँ और एक और उसके साथ ही ऐड कर दीजिए इकोनॉमिक्स का ओके okay, मिनट करेंगे ज़्यादा अच्छा रहेगा क्योंकि पूरा पेपर भी नहीं पढ़ा अगर जो उसमें दिया हुआ है ब्लॉक में उसको ही पढ़ लिया तो भी काम चलेगा ओके okay, बाकी कोई भी पढ़ सकते हैं ऐसा कोई जरूरी नहीं कि मिनट ही पढ़ें एक योजना जरूर पढ़ना यस yes, और चांस को जाने नहीं देना इस बार निकलना है और एक एंड सर आपको कहने की बहुत आदत है सर भी बार बार नहीं कहना है क्वेश्चन एक बार शुरू कर दिया वंस इज गुड एनफ अगर आप अवॉइड कर सकें yes. एंड भी लगाते हैं उसके साथ एंड सर हर सेंटेंस के बाद वो अवॉइड हो जाए तो अच्छा है ना वैसे ऐसी कोई खास उधर ध्यान मत देना नहीं तो ध्यान उधर ही पड़ा रहेगा ठीक है यस ऑल द बेस्ट अच्छा कर रहे यू आर एक्सीट गुड यू हैव फेस इन टू फोर टाइम्स इन दू पी एस तीन बार तो आपको सिविल सर्विसेज का एक बार फॉरेस्ट सर्विस का यस तो आप अपना बी कॉन्फिडेंट आप अपने मेंटल मेकअप से निकाल दीजिए कि वो प्रेशर कोई है ठीक yes. है ना यदि यहाँ होता है तो इट विल बेस्ट नहीं भी होता तो इट विल एक्सीलेंट कोई वो प्रेशर मत रखो डोंट कीप मेंटल प्रेशर ऑन योर हेड यस सो एंड यू विल गेट सक्सेस समाइम इफ यू आर ओवर प्रेशर की क्या होगा क्या नहीं होगा तो कुछ नहीं होगा ठीक है ना ओके गेट आउट ऑफ इट एंड यू डेफिनेटली गेट दिस सक्सेस ऑल गुड विशेष फ्रॉम आवर साइड थैंक यू सर एक आपने अपने बायोडाटा में ये जो ओ बी सी एन एक्स लगाया है यस सर इन दैट यू हैव मैंशन थ्री हेक्टेयर्स ऑफ अन इरीगेटेड एग्रीकल्चर लैंड समबडी माई टास्क यू वॉट आर यू ग्रोइंग देयर यस सर mostly sir uh, millets like bajra are being grown and your father gets pension also yes sir hmm yes sir. but then income is 295000 yes sir only yes sir. which is barely 25000 rupees a month yes sir he must be getting more than this pension yes, alone it is pension only in agriculture mostly the cost of irrigation is equal to the cost of uh, production irrigation you say it is unirrigated unirrigated yes sir so sir whenever we grow it depends on the monsoon uh-huh. and most of the time the monsoon the time when we require the monsoon at that time it doesn't come so okay so you should be prepared for that yes okay wish you all the best thank you sir all good wishes thank you sir aana hai is baat do the yes, best confidence thoda rehna hmm? thank you sir thank you sir okay thank you sir